death of 21 teens celebrating the end of exams shown the light on underage drinking and substance abuse. The 2023 school year is over and many pupils have pens down celebrations planned. Now let's discuss how to do this responsibly and uh, the dangers, of course, of substance abuse. And we're joined by Zimasa Mpenyama from Alcohol Harms Reduction. Thank you so much, Zimasa, for joining me this morning. I think, uh, first and foremost, we know these pens down celebrations, they happen every single year. What's the main concern this year around these kind of celebrations? Um, thank you for having me on the show. Um... These pens down celebrations have become a sort of culture in South Africa uh, where we see a lot of young people, um, specifically matriculants, um, right after matric, that come together to quote unquote celebrate the ending of the year and then finishing matric and um, consume large amounts of alcohol, which we have seen results in many different harm, harmful activities. So um, one cannot act like we have not seen the Enyobeni tragedy happening. Um, one cannot act like we have not seen instances of young people being um, brutally raped, being murdered, and part of different um, dangerous activities. Um, and we report about this every year, we talk about it every year, but there hasn't been a consistent and intentional look at ways in which to curb this kind of behavior around young people. And sometimes we view this as the responsibility of young people to not do this, let's stop them. But I think our look should be at a more systemic level and we should be looking at ways in which um, we can regulate the consumption of, of drinking for young people in South Africa. Mm.